Hey y'all my supermodels out there. As you can see, I'm in the car. I had to sneak out of the house so AJ wouldn't see me. He heard me leave the house because he heard the um the garage door. But I stood at the door um once I got outside to see if he was gonna um scream. Um but he didn't. Yeah, so he's there with his cousins. So hopefully he won't give them a hard time. So I'm just running real quick to go and pay some bills. I'm having one of those moments where I'm leaving the house and I'm not looking all that cute. I look a mess, but it's okay. And the way I feel, if anybody sees me and has the problem with <laughs> how much of a mess I look, well, I don't see them dishing out anything to contribute to these bills. I don't see it. So I'm good. So yeah, so I'm gonna run, pay these bills real quick. Um, I do need to make one quick stop to um, probably Dollar General. I'm hoping they have what I'm looking for. I'm trying to set the gate up in front of the stairs. And um, so I'm looking for one of those little, those plastic ties to um, to get it real snug up against the, um, the stair rails. So I try to do all that real quick and then head on back to the house. Um, but I figured while I was on my way, I would give an update on my pregnancy. I will say that at first I was starting to get like a little concerned because I wasn't feeling the baby move as much and you know and I was so used to AJ just all over the place because he got to the point where we were just we were fighting for oh as my husband would say we were fighting for territory and I was like yeah kid you you got you got to get out of here he was, he, he was fighting for space for real so um this one I haven't had any issues with that so much yet so I'm trying to remember like how soon it was that I started feeling AJ move around like crazy and stuff so um not this past Sunday but Sunday before last um I felt a really hard kick and it made me jump and I was like oh, that's what I was looking for and all this week this baby has been active 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 so I've been one happy mama. All right, so bills are paid. That didn't take long. So now I'm, I'm headed back to the house. Well, we'll head to the dollar, dollar general real quick. Um, funny question though. I know it's not the question part, but <laughs> funny question. Do any of y'all ever like, like you think you're going to one place and you end up at <laughs> the wrong place? For example, like, okay, so I use um, two different banks. So, um, with my pregnancy brain, sometimes I get a little mixed up and think that I'm <laughs> at the wrong bank or I actually show up at the wrong, at the wrong bank. The one, not the one that I need to actually go to. Um, I actually did that with, um, <laughs> a fast food place one time um I what was I going to get I was going to order um I was supposed to go to um KFC to order some chicken for the family um and this was back when I was still at, at home so my dad um wanted me to go pick up some chicken so I go and um <laughs> to go pick up some chicken you know the whole meal and everything and I had a coupon and so I, I drive up to the drive through window well to the um to the you know the order the area to the speaker and I order <laughs> I order my, my uh, chicken meal 
And then the lady goes, um, ma'am, we sell old-fashioned hamburgers here. And I look around, because I'm like, what were you talking about? And I look around, I was at Wendy's. I was like, oh my gosh. Because I went to Wendy's so much, I had a habit that I pulled up at Wendy's and wasn't even at KFC. So I'm at Wendy's ordering a 10-piece original with mashed potatoes and yeah. And I was at Wendy's. That was so embarrassing. But yeah, so just now I was pulling up at the bank and right when I was sending off the um, the check through the little section thingy, I don't know what those things are called. I had a pregnancy moment and I was like, oh, no, I'm at the wrong bank. And then I realized, oh no, 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 no. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I'm good. <laughs> so yeah, y'all ever have any moments like that? Don't let me be by myself. Don't do that. But yeah. So anyway, <laughs> back to about um the pregnancy. So the baby has been moving like all week. And I I have been just so happy about it because I love it. It you know, it's just reassurance. You know, it just makes you feel like, oh my baby is so healthy, oh my baby's doing good. Baby's in there playing and moving around and kicking. And, um, of course, right now, the movements are, like, you know, making me smile and sometimes laugh because they tickle, which I already know because I learned from AJ that it's not always going to be like that. Sometimes those kicks are going to make me cry. And AJ did a really good job at that. Um, <laughs> so, not really looking forward to that part, but at the same time, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad to feel, you know, the baby move and just, you know, whatever it takes for them to, you know, <laughs> I guess get comfortable or just whatever. And for me, you know, the way I look at it is, you know, as I mentioned before in um, one of my other videos, you know, I've lost two babies. So stuff like this, I, I love it, you know. It may make me cry, but hey, I have a healthy baby and they're growing. There was one time I had got really, really hungry because AJ used to get like, I mean, like really, really mean. Oh, and I hate that I stopped right here because I couldn't let that car in. Oops. I hope they don't think I was trying to pop them in. I really wasn't. But AJ used to get like just real feisty when I was pregnant with him if he got hungry and it was one day um, we were coming from Columbia and he he was kicking up a storm and I, I knew he was hungry and I just started crying because I was hungry too so I was hungry and because for me, when I am hungry, it's it's like that. It it really isn't hungry. It just goes straight to starvation. You just feel like you starve. Well, I feel like I'm starving. Um, <clears throat> so I'm feeling like I'm starving. I know AJ is hungry, and he goes to kicking like crazy. Just like it just felt like angry kicks, and I started crying. So then my husband Angelo started like fussing at him. He was like, "Hey, calm down, little boy. You go, you gonna eat?" <laughs> Cause he didn't want, he didn't want to want him to have me crying. And even then, I went into like mommy mode, and I was like, "It's okay. Don't blame him. It's not his fault. He just hungry. He okay." And I'm just holding my eyes out. But at the same time, I'm, you know, it doesn't feel good, but. It, it lets me know that, you know, the baby's doing good and the baby's in need of something and the baby's letting me know and is able to let me know. Speaking of the whole hungry thing, that's the main thing that's been going on with, um, with me and baby number two around this time. Is I can eat something and 
maybe 30 minutes later, I'm right back at the starvation mood. So like I said, there there is no hungry. It just goes, I just go straight to starving. And it feels like I haven't eaten like days. Like I've been starving myself or something. That's what it feels like. Um, so trying to keep myself fed this was the challenge that I had when I was pregnant with AJ, trying to keep myself fed. And oh, it's hard when I'm always tired too, because after I take, and I'm not even exaggerating y'all, after I take maybe three bites of something, I feel like I'm about to just pass out and sleep. Like I get that tired. So tired that I don't even feel like eating. I'm starving, but I don't even feel like eating anymore because I get that tired. And so when it comes to trying to keep myself fed, I don't always feel like cooking. So I need help with the cooking, but then I don't know what should be cooked. So just like today, I'm gonna sit down um, when I get back home. I'm gonna sit down and figure out what needs to um what I need to get for groceries for next week so that way we can have plenty of food in the house and when we do cook dinner it will last us you know a few days because that's my thing I want to be able to have enough food where I don't have to cook as much or um Angelo doesn't have to cook as much but we still have plenty of food um and I and the other thing of course yeah I'm pregnant so I wanted to be good food I don't want to be cooking stuff just to be cooking it and it be stuff that I don't like I, I can't I can't even I can't even do that now it's got to be stuff that I like and that's hard too because he may want certain things and I'm like I don't want that so yeah so trying to figure all of this out I need to slow down um so yeah so trying to figure all of that out trying to stay away from the processed stuff and that's hard too because when I want to cook a lot of something and keep it simple it's like the processed stuff is the go-to stuff but it's not oh gosh it's so not good for you though and well, I tell you it's 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 challenging and um and my husband and I we we don't eat certain things and I know people look at us like you know oh y'all don't eat that y'all don't eat it but it really is a challenge but we we're not like not trying to eat stuff because we're trying trying to be weird or trying to be odd or just trying to you know get attention or anything we just we're trying to look out for our bodies and trying to take care of our bodies and when we realize that certain stuff is not good for you we as soon as we find out, we do, you know, what we can right then and there to make sure we avoid that stuff. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull up here at Dollar General and get the one thing that I am looking for and head on home. Home is like right around the corner. So let me go in and do this. And yeah, home. Now what I was looking for at Dollar General that didn't take long I was about to mess up though cuz I I hadn't even walked in the store yet and I already saw something that I didn't go there to buy but I was like ooh, it was a little kitty pool I want to get a little tiny pool for AJ so bad but it's not like I feel like going outside Then when I walked in the store, like as soon as I walked in, they had like these little um these little tiny chairs and tables for little toddlers. And I was like, oh my gosh, I used to have those. I wanna get some for AJ. Y'all don't always do that. I be finding all these little cute little stuff, and it be stuff for AJ. I don't ever I don't get stuff for myself anymore. I need to. I want to, but then I feel guilty for wanting to. Like, 
like if there's something I want to get, I'm like, oh, that would be cute. I should get that. And I'm like, no, I need to be getting stuff for AJ. Or no, I can't be sitting there buying stuff for me. And I don't know. It's weird. It's very weird. So, what was I talking about anyway? As far as pregnancy. I know I was talking about food and eating. So, yeah. So, now I'm getting ready to get home and figure out what we're going to eat today. eat for the weekend and what we're gonna eat next week so yeah so other pregnancy symptoms would be back pain um my hips all of my bones in that area has already let me know that uh -uh, we're not feeling this we feel extra weight leaning on us we not feeling it. We about to just stop working. We about to quit. We about to go on strike. So then when I try to get up off the couch or get out of the bed, my bones and stuff and my hips are on strike. And they be like, uh, -uh we not doing it. Then I can't move. And it just hurts. So I have a workout video coming up and that's what I really need to be working on is stretching and um, strengthening my muscles and stuff to carry a baby again because I did not do that with AJ. Um, I was just completely out of shape with AJ and ooh, almost right over milk box. And um, My husband thought it was hilarious to get me a cane that I really couldn't walk. And of course now he brings up the cane again. And I'm like, get out of my face for that day. I don't need no cane. I don't need a cane, y'all. I don't. All these other moms walking around here like nine months pregnant, like they working all the way up until they go into labor and all this stuff. And I'm like almost five months and can't walk like no. I need I need to do better. I need to do better. Yeah. Let me get on in here in this house. See what AJ up to. And I need to eat. I haven't eaten since breakfast. I need to eat. I need to work on eating like my snacks. Because I'm supposed to eat breakfast. And then a snack. And then lunch. And then a snack. Dinner. And then a snack. I haven't been doing that. I need to do that. I've been eating breakfast. Lunch. Then lunch again. Then dinner. And then maybe a snack. Like... I'm getting ready to see if I can get this um baby gate going since this little guy likes to do that. Climb up the stairs. AJ, come here. And of course when you say come here, he's not going to come. Oh, that's what it is. Alright, so Jada's gonna get him and bring him back back down. Alright, so this is what I got. I got these little, the little plastic ties. I don't know what to call them. Let's see if it's on the pack. Cable ties. Oh, okay, I got it. Cause you use them to like tie cables together. Duh. And then I pulled this out of our work drawer because oh my goodness. And this is basically like leftover borders. From, no, this is leftover mold. No, I don't have mold. I don't know what this is. So, whatever it is, it's leftover from when they built the house. So, I'm going to use this little piece here to put up against the wall to fit the gate. You may not understand what I'm talking about right now, but I'm about to show you. And I'm going to use the ties to tie the gate to the stair rail here. 
All right, so this is the gate that I got. And I'm gonna use, like I said, this little piece of wood here as soon as I take the plastic off. And I'm gonna put it there because the gate uses pressure. And because there's wall here, and then it goes to the borders, and this part lines up with about right there, but that's not even with the wall, so it's not stable. So AJ and his little strong behind, he can still pull it down. So what I'm gonna do is use that piece of wood to even it out because it should be the same. It should be the same as the um the borders there. And then use the um the cable ties, which I don't have because I think AJ just ran off with it, to tie <laughs> this end to the rail. And it probably it probably looks like it won't even go all the way across, but it um it extends. So yeah. So I'm about to put this together and see how it works. And I got two of them so that way I can put them at the top of the stairs way up there. So that way if we have AJ upstairs, he doesn't go running around and then fall down the stairs. Um, Cause that terrifies me. I'm such a mom and that terrifies me. So when I put the plastic tiles on, I realized that they were too small. So I put two of them together and got them snug on snug there and then I got the lip block there and that one is snug there so it's very sturdy so AJ's not going up those stairs now the thing is what I just thought about was I actually want the gate like on the third step so that way he could at least practice going up and down the stairs. As you can see, well as you saw, going up the stairs is no problem for him. I just want him to practice going down. That's what really scares me is him going down the stairs. I don't want him missing a step or falling or losing his balance or whatever trying to go down. So, yeah, I may just leave that though. So everybody, here is my 19 week belly update. Um, to me, my belly looks huge. Um, <laughs> when I was pregnant with AJ, um, to me it seems like I'm bigger at 19 weeks than I was with AJ at 20 weeks. So I'm going to try to squeeze in a picture so you all can see what I was talking about and see what you think. Um, everyone else tells me that I look the same size as I was then but to me it just seems like I'm bigger now so I have the wonderful belly shot there and I'm using um, a tape measure to measure my waist um, I believe I got this tape measure out of a sewing kit um, the little kits that you get with all the, the sewing thread and things um, you can also get the little small tape measures and I just pull the the tape measure part all the way out and measure my waist and at 19 weeks with baby number two I am measuring 38 and a half inches when I was 40 weeks pregnant with AJ I was 176 pounds and I was 45 inches in the waist and my belly height was 19 and a half inches um, after I had AJ and I lost the weight, I got all the way down to 146 pounds and my waist was down to 34 inches. And at the start of this pregnancy, I started to lose weight and I dropped down to 141 pounds. So now I'm at 153, so 153 pounds and 38 and a half inches in my waist. Happy pregnancy to me. AJ is still asleep this morning. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix me some breakfast. Um, another thing that I forgot to mention about my pregnancy symptoms is 
um, the dizziness. That, that's crazy. Let's let some sunlight in. Hopefully it's not too bright. Ooh. That was very bright. Um, yeah. So, dizziness. Now, I've always dealt with dizziness. Um, I don't know what I came in here thinking I was going to eat, but I don't need to go in here. But I've always dealt with dizziness. Like in middle and high school, every morning when I got ready for school, I always had to like get out of bed carefully. Um, because if I didn't, I would, um, I would faint. Like I would get up and everything would start to spin and then like everything would just turn black and it, all the blackness would just close in on me and the next thing I know, my face is up against the carpet. So, <laughs> I'm having those moments again now, a whole lot more frequently. Um, oh, there's AJ. And um, so now it's like getting out of the bed, getting out uh, off the couch. Um, I get dizzy sometimes if I'm just laying down. And um, I think it's it's the blood pressure because I've read that around this point in pregnancy, the blood pressure is like really low. And the blood vessels are um, dilated. <clears throat> and I've always had like pretty low blood pressure. Like my, I've never had high blood pressure. My blood pressure has always been towards the lower end. I'm just standing here with the refrigerator all open. I need to get what I need to get. Yeah, so dizziness. So that's pretty much what I have going on so far with this pregnancy. Um, I have, of course, the heaviness and my um abdomen so it's like um a lot of pelvic pain and sometimes it's hard to walk with that too because it feels like the baby and the whole entire uterus and all of that is just gonna crush my pelvic area but yeah i got like i said before i have a workout video coming up where um i'm gonna be working on that i need to strengthen those muscles for real so yeah, so I got the dizziness, the pains, um, the hunger, and um, and yeah, every now and then I'll deal with um, nauseousness, like certain things, you know, eating or drinking certain things may trigger it, and then I'm like nauseous for the whole day. If I take a peppermint, peppermint will help um, calm it down a little bit, um, but yeah, that's about it as far as what's going on so far in 19 weeks so next week is 20 weeks and I have my anatomy scan then so looking forward to that I'm excited we will um we will give basically some information and update on what we're gonna do about a reveal party that we're planning so I'll give that information um in the next video so y'all make sure y'all watch the next video so you know what's going on with the gender reveal otherwise you're gonna miss everything you're gonna miss all the fun <laughs>
um, I at least want like um, like I guess some sort of gathering like um, where everyone can bring like <laughs> diapers and wipes because we will definitely uh, need that or need those things. Um, we are in the process of getting AJ out of diapers so he has started um, potty training a little. Um, just basically right now getting used to it. I think once he hits um, 18 months, which will be next month, um, we're really going to go hard with the um, with the potty training, uh, which he's doing pretty good with it so far. But I'll have a um, potty training um, video next week um, about that. So, yeah, so baby shower. So what do you all think? Do you think that um, if it's a boy, I should have another baby shower or... Should I do just the, the diaper and wipes thing or nothing at all? What do you all, what do, what do you think? Or what are some ideas that you all have? Or what are some things that you all did that, um, that worked for you? For inspiration, um, I'm going to basically, I'm going to take from uh, my husband a little bit. Um, he preached um, this Sunday at a youth service, and um, I'm going to just take a little bit of what he was talking about because um, it kind of goes along with um, my video this week and basically helps with some encouragement, especially for us moms that are, you know, you know, dealing with, you know, our kids and all of the trials with that and then with pregnancy and all the pains that come with that. Um, so, yeah, so we're going to look at um, Psalms 127. And I'm going to read verses 3 through 5. And it reads, Behold, children are a heritage from the Lord, the fruit of the, room, the, fruit of the womb a reward, like arrows in the hand of a warrior, are the children of one's youth. Blessed is the man who fills his quiver with them. He shall not be put to shame when he speaks with his enemies in the gate. So our children are basically our weapons. So even though we go through the, you know, the pains and discomforts with pregnancy and then we go through the 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 heartaches and the aggravations and the stress, you know, raising the children, they are our weapons. Um, the enemy wants to reach our children while they are children and basically taint the bloodline and have them doing things that are not godly. And then they go and carry that on to their children. And then we have this generational thing going on. So, our children are our weapons. We need to bring them up in the way that they should go. And that is in God's word, in God's will, in God's way. And um, so it's also just a reminder to me that even though, you know, like I've mentioned before, how I'm dealing with the back pain and um, the fatigue and the dizziness and the starvation, not really starving, but feeling like I'm starving. Basically, I'm going through all that because it's the process to birth out my weapon, my children. They're, they're my heritage. So, um, so keeping that in mind, I remember that, you know, I'm going through all of these things for a good thing. At the beginning of the uh, the chapter 127 in Psalms, um, it talks about basically um, doing what the Lord has told you to do. And if you're doing something that he hasn't said to do, you're doing it in vain. So this is a reminder that me birthing my children, is it's not in vain. Um, the Lord has blessed me with these kids and I, I love them to death. And... So I'm going to remember that. And I just want to share that with the rest of you all to remember that also. Whether you're in pregnancy, um, planning to be pregnant one day in the future, um, or if you've had your children or if they're, your children are grown, just remember that it, it's not in vain. Um, your children are your heritage.
to look good. These are the last four bites, okay? Uh oh, got it. Last bite. That's all. All done. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my gosh, AJ, I am so proud of you. Well, that's the video for today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe below. Hit the subscribe button so that way um, you can keep up with the videos. Click the bell so that way you can be notified when I post a new video. Um, mostly I post them on Mondays, but sometimes I get a little behind. Um, that's what happens when you got a toddler that wants all of your attention and an unborn baby that's making you very sick and tired. <laughs> Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you. And make sure you share with your family and your friends. So also, um, answers that you have to my question um, or other comments that you have, ideas, suggestions, um, put those in the comments below. Um, I would like to have like a discussion going on each of the videos. So, and I will see you. And I will also give the date of our gender reveal party and what we have planned for that. Alright, so I'll see you all next week.